I want to talk about how the main jet and needle jet work in the Bing constant velocity carburetor. In the center of the carburetor is this chamber which holds the needle jet and the main jet. And there's a big brass piece here called the jet carrier which connects them together. At the bottom of the jet carrier the main jet can screw in and that's a jet that's not a very big piece of brass but it has an orifice in it and stamped on the face is the size of the jet. In this case it's a 170 jet. Then on top of it goes the needle jet which also has stamped on its side uh, the size of the jet. This is a 2.66 and it sits on top like this and then the last piece of this assembly is an air mixing tube that goes on the top of the needle jet. So all of this goes into that sleeve in the center of the carburetor um, like this and the jet carrier screws into the body to hold all the parts together. Now if I look down from the top of the carburetor you can see that right in the center is the orifice created by the needle jet and what goes into that is what's called the jet needle which is on the bottom of the carburetor slide and the jet needle fits right inside that like this if I can put it in carefully it's a little bit of a juggling there we go so you can see that here's the needle and as the slide moves up and down through the constant velocity feature that I described in another video the needle moves up and down as the slide moves up and down and that changes the amount of fuel being put into the airstream so at low speed the needles pretty far into the jet and at full open the needles pretty far out of the jet and you'll note that the needle is tapered so as the needle goes further out of the jet less and less of it is in the jet more fuel is flowing and in fact at the higher RPMs where the slide is almost all the way out it's really this main jet that's controlling how much fuel is going into the carburetor venturi. The uh, needle jet's not doing very much work at all. Now I wanted to explain a little bit about that top part that goes around the needle jet and it actually works to help atomize the air and at lower speeds helps pull the fuel uh, up out of the float bowl but you'll notice that it has a set of small holes here which would be oriented like this meaning uh, toward the fuel and also on the air box side of the carburetor there's a hole right here which is exposed to the relatively high air pressure of the air box now that hole runs all the way through this carburetor into the sleeve that holds the main jet carrier and so that air helps pull a little of the fuel up and out of the fuel well mixing it a little bit before it comes into the venturi section of the carburetor so that helps ensure a little better transition when from the idle to the beginning of the needle jet where the needles fairly far down in to the jet and smooths that transition and, and makes the engine run a little nicer. So those are the major parts that go into the main jet and needle jet circuit on the Bing constant velocity carburetor.